this vast corner of Mozambique has basically been emptied out by terror. You get a real sense here of the scale of the conflict and also how quickly it's accelerating. This camp alone had about 60,000 people in it three months ago. Today, it's doubled in size. The situation here in Palma really is very grim and you can see the frustration and the desperation amongst local people because there's simply no food and what food there is is incredibly expensive. Very, very angry. I'm very angry. I have three days without eating nothing. And I'm here, but I don't get nothing. As we flew out of Palma, we saw this multi-billion dollar gas project. Mozambique is fantastically rich in resources, but very little of that wealth seems to get passed on. That causes resentment, which Al-Shabaab is obviously exploiting. And in the meantime, people are still fleeing from the violence, a lot of them escaping by boat, heading to beaches further south. The horror stories that families are bringing ashore here are chilling. People are desperate, people are terrified, but they're also baffled, baffled by a conflict that seems to have come out of nowhere, which makes so little sense to so many people here. And this is a region that's known its fair share of, of conflict, of corruption, of inequality over the years, but Cabo Delgado has suddenly, in the space of two or three years, been transformed into this horrific conflict zone, a conflict that really nobody saw coming. 